hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T. What's up, Jonas? Oh, you know, just here another week, live for all these fine people. The fine people? Wanda, thank you all for joining us live on twitch.tv forward slash crazy town media live or if you're checking out a replay on our youtube channel crazy under crazy town media or on spotify oh, itunes yeah, or the spotify beat yeah we're uh, audio through. only replays are on spotify yeah man How, now, how's that bag look like though uh the bag of cash the spotify bag yeah it was oh bag. dude it's like if you're on one side of the rainbow and like if you could see it on the other side you know, you can't see it. That's how much is in the bag. That seemed like a lot of explanation just to say that we're not getting any money. Oh, okay. Is that we're what not, you're saying? We're, we're not getting any money. Okay. That's what we're well, saying. Right, no. But thank you so much for checking us out. Please make sure to follow all of our social media at Crazy Town Media on Twitter, Instagram, and of course, the cornucopia of continuous information, the crazytown.com. <laughs> crazytown.com. <laughs> Mocking TNT Mockamite over here. What are you talking about? Jones is going to kick my ass today. No, nah, I'm good. Dude. There's no <laughs> ass kicking. He says I'm on my period. <laughs> you, that was your words. Yeah, what do you mean? That's I was like, words. what's up with you today? I'm on my period. Jonas says I'm on my period. Yeah, well, you didn't disagree. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Good deal. You got some stories? Yeah, I got oh, stories. Shit. Are you starting today or am I starting today? Uh, starting today. I got some bleak ass shit to start with, but I'll start. No, are you start? Yeah, I think I started last okay. time anyway. Um, I'm not going to talk about this topic, but it's all related to that. There was a terrible ter- uh, terrorist attack in New Zealand. I was going to do that too. Really? Jonas. Okay. I was going to say that. I was going to be like, you know, hey, you know, we should definitely say hard to Yeah, I mean, that absolutely. Yeah. I, it was a tragic, terrible thing that happened. New Zealand. But I have, there's a lot of things regarding that that I wanted to discuss with you. Not yeah. the attack itself. What's, what's transpired since? Okay. All right. There is like a world censorship craze going on right now. What does that mean? So, okay, as you know, the, the guy broadcasts his attack on Facebook Live. Yes. So there was a video of him like in progress doing this attack. Yeah. It, which is fucking awful, by the way. It's but circulated for like 17 minutes before they were able to take it down. Right. Exactly. So there has been a huge push to get it taken off the internet, which I get. I get that. Um, but I guess the first thing I want to touch on is there's an 18 year old kid in, I think he was in New Zealand. They arrested him for sharing that video. He's facing 14 years in jail for sharing that video online. They arrested him for sharing the yes. video? Yes. Like, they're... And they have now announced... New Zealand has now announced... They're warning their citizens they could face up to 10 years in jail for posting that video online. Can you do that? I mean, it's not America. I mean, yeah, we have freedom of speech. Like, I don't know how their laws work. But I don't either. I mean, would... I get, like, it's bad and you shouldn't do it. But, like, yeah, they're, like, huh. arresting motherfuckers for, for sharing that video online. Yeah, that's like that's like an English country, so you would think English speaking, yeah. I mean, yeah, but they're under English rule, right? It's uh, basically a... New pe- Zealand? That's, I don't know exactly. Aren't they a penal colony? Or is I, that Australia? I don't know. Dude, it's, it, they're Australian, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Anyways, they're so... different, but anyway. So, yeah. I just... I, I thought that was really weird, like, um, that they're they're taking the stance of, like, we're going to arrest you if you put this online. That's kind of crazy. Right. right? And yeah. Oh, and it keeps getting more fucked up. So they also, the Austra- the, you know, the, the attacker, he, he, he put on 4chan or 8chan that he was going to do it. That's where he put the link to the video. Yeah, yeah. All that stuff, which, I mean, we've talked about 4chan before. It's kind of like the armpit of the internet. It's, H- it's, 8chan is even worse. Right. That's what I've heard. <laughs> uh. Australian telecommunications companies completely blocked 4chan, 8chan, and LiveLeak from the country. Really? Yes. They brought 4chan back up. I haven't heard about 8chan or LiveLeak, but they're ba- they basically said, we know not all users use these sites for bad, but for the good of the people, we're just going to block them out completely. What, what exactly are they hoping to achieve with this? Dude, it's, it's I don't know, to... but it sounds like fucking like... Big Brother. Big Brother coming down. We've talked about Big Brother yeah. a lot. 
And since when did New Zealand become North Korea? <laughs> right, dude. That's what. That's exactly why I wanted to talk about this up front. <laughs> um, then another thing that happened: a UK man. UK man. Yeah, UK man, like Florida man. UK man. He was arrested after posting. He posted something on Facebook, basically just like supporting the guy who did the terrorist attack. Which, by all means, is fucking terrible. You shouldn't do that. They arrested him for posting it online. Yeah. They said he was arrested for suspicion of sending malicious communication. He's not linked to the guy at all. He is not part of like the thing. No, we still got to bring you they in. They just, just swiped to, him up. And we got to bring you in just to make sure. Yeah. So now people are getting arrested for what they post on social media as far as text. Yeah, that's a little much. Yeah, but, dude. But on the same note. I mean, hey, it well, was an awful thing that happened. I probably, get it. probably shouldn't be talking I, like that. I, right? I get it. And what kind of sick motherfucker do you have to be to be sharing oh, it? Oh, absolutely. My point isn't that he was right. Yeah. My point is that they're arresting people for talking. Which is, is, is the start of, like, some shit, man. And I proudly stand <laughs> up next to you. Now, one thing. Fender till today. <laughs> yeah, right? Um... One thing that I can get behind is the New Zealand Prime Minister. Uh, well, one thing this is I'm gonna touch on this and that they're yeah. gonna reform their gun laws, which I get. Um, but she said social media cannot be for all profit with no responsibility in regards to Facebook allowing. Th- I mean, Facebook did shut it down. All right, I see now. I see, I see the fact of like people are saying that there's a lot of. Not non accountability when it comes to uh like the social media. Like people, you can just say whatever you want. To. Oh, absolutely. Trolls are rising. Oh, dude, oh, absolutely. Every yeah, single yeah, day. For sure. But like, I don't know. What are you gonna get out of these people? It's just like a normal person, a dude right. in the house. No, but what she's saying is like what you, what? Facebook shouldn't be able to just reap billions of dollars in profit. It went and when they're allowing people to just like do whatever and hate speech and fucking broadcast killing people online that's, and that's what America is though man not even just America the world that's well yeah well not all the world yeah there's yeah. definitely North Korea you ain't saying whatever the fuck you want to over nope. Facebook but uh that, I don't know okay in that kind con- because it's in a different place. I don't know. I don't know either, but like all this shit came as shocking to me. I thought most of the world, other than like China, North Korea, were were free. Apparently that shit still flies over there. All right. One more touch on this related. You got to touch on it. Russia has now, along with all this, Mr. Putin has decided. Are we talking about politics? No, I'm just, I'm just, (laughs) this goes in line with all this. Okay. All right. Go ahead. He, uh, he put two new bills in. Okay. One is that you face jail time and fines if material is published <laughs> that has disrespect for society, the state, or symbols of Russia. Yeah. And the second this. one was basically banning fake news. But who determines if it's fake? The government does. So the government decides if you're disrespecting them, if what you post is fake, and then they will take you to fucking jail. That's communism. My friend. And that is why we live in America. Yeah, dude. Like, Russia's supposed to be a democracy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to... That's, that's the end of all my shit. Yeah, but they can change that shit up at, at Oh, at they will, really can. Essentially. It depends they, on the I mean, they just have. It's, it's pretty much not a democracy anymore. Yeah, like, when is Putin's reign? When does his reign Oh, no, he, they just did the vote. Remember they had all those pictures of people stuffing ballot boxes with, like, fake votes for him and shit? Remember oh, that too? so he... So, we normally don't talk politics, but this is what's going on in the world right now. This is scary shit, dude. If this, yeah. like, trends... That's a lot of censorship, man. That is a lot of censorship. That's like it, it world censorship is nuts. I'm just glad we live in a place where we have to hide the fact that they're censoring us. <laughs> right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, that was terrifying, yeah, no, 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 no. Ah! That was terrifying, yeah. Jonas. So I told you I had some deep <laughs> shit to start out with, right? So what, do you have anything lighthearted to talk about? Or are we going into one more fucking... Fist. That was terrifying, Jonas. So <laughs> what I want to talk about is equally as terrifying. Oh, God. 
I want to talk about uh, your femans and your mans. Oh my god! Why, why is everyone my man? Your mans and your femans. My man, <laughs> my mans and my femans. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Aunt Fucking Becky. Aunt Becky. God damn it, Aunt Becky. Oh, that bitch. Becky, what the fuck are you doing? So there's a federal case. Okay. Against a man by the name of William Rick Singer. Okay. He had a company. That assisted people to get into college. Oh, that's not, I mean, hey, you, you want you, you to get honestly, in? Honestly, honestly, you've all heard the story by now. Oh, yeah. But. Well, for who hasn't? We, we, we quick, haven't quick, talked quick, about quick it. synopsis. Anyway, so uh, it was a bunch of elite Southern California schools that were like, uh, they were looking at. And they noticed some discrepancies in the fact that, look, motherfucking Aunt Becky was playing Rick, Rick Singer, William Rick Singer, to... Have people take entrance entrance exams to these elite prep schools. Yeah, even and, like uh, Ivy League too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, and falsify the credentials for like sports. Yeah, they, they would say they were on the rowing team and Photoshop their picture in yeah, and shit. Yeah, dude, you can't do that, dude. When so, it starts <laughs> rolling, all the people that were involved in this, it's gonna be. All bad. right. So, so as it stands right now, they're just urging the people who have participated or given money knowing full well, obviously, right, right, right. what's transpiring. They're telling them, you just you need to cut a deal. It's a federal case. Right. I mean, they already got you. Is, you competed with they said, I saw something that, like, they they feel that, like, there was, like, a big company CEO involved. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. This is terrible, too. Another terrible thing happening in this world. But let me just be real with everyone for a second. Uh -oh. Did anyone think this wasn't going on? This is my thing, Dallas. This is what I really wanted to even talk about because we've all heard the story, but is is this is this out of the ordinary? This is like this... who didn't think rich people were paying to get ahead in life? On the same note, this is this is just the argument that I heard. That okay, it was what is the difference between this and lying about your address so that your kid can go to the good school in town? It's very true. So people are always using the upper hand. It oh, is yeah. highly crazy that these kids, Lori Laughlin, Aunt Becky's kid, has been very, very public with her two million Twitter followers that she doesn't even want to go to school. Right, right, and right. And I'm sure that that sentiment probably rings true with a bunch of these other kids. And they're just like, hey, I get the right that I went to this Ivy League school on my application and it, it, it's, it's all for just, like, bragging rights and... and... Yeah, you know what I heard about? Uh, I think it was on NPR. What's that? That some of these kids didn't even know <clears throat> that their parents had done this for them. They thought they got into the school. <laughs> and, like... <laughs> So they're just That's now awful. finding out how stupid, how much money their stupidity is costing their parents. Like, like some of the, it said it, it averaged about 200K. It was 200K. But they went anywhere up to like 6, 6. million. 6.5 yeah, dude. million. So, dude, you're so dumb. Your parents had to pay $6 million to get you into school and you didn't know? How bad do you feel about right. that shit? But look, Jonas, here, let's, let's take another example. Okay. If you could get into one of the best colleges and all you had to do was slide the dude on the other side of the desk a hundred dollars would you do that um that's an absolutely uh, no, <laughs> well, what, I, what i was gonna say is college even worth it anymore but that was my <laughs> i mean even if you get in and you're just like hey i'm here now and all it cost me was a hundred dollars two hundred thousand dollars to some of these motherfuckers is a hundred oh speaking of which I saw this is put this this puts us into yeah, relevancy. Yeah. I saw a line that to the average person spending a dollar, Jeff Bezos can spend eighty eight thousand dollars. That's his equivalent of a dollar. So if you if Jeff Bezos basically could pay five dollars and have his kid go to school for four hundred k, exactly. So why not? He's like, here, take ten dollars. Exactly, and this is my point. Um, so I'm not really mad. At the people who participated, there, there's always a hustle. They, yeah, I mean, yeah. and in some way, they worked hard for the money. I'm not mad right. at them. I'm mad at the guy who's obviously selling the crack, not the crackhead. <laughs> okay, right? You can't blame the crackhead. Blame the crack dealer. Yeah. If there's no crack dealer. There's no crackhead. Yeah, it is bullshit. But, but you know, I mean, like, they knew what they were doing was wrong. So I hope they all get jail time. Yeah, because they did commit fraud, dude. Here's who I feel yeah. bad for: the poor kid. Who needed that rowing scholarship to go to college? 
and gets doesn't get the scholarship because Becky's kid got the rowing scholarship. They, they couldn't be on the row. Now they're smoking crack. Fucking Becky. They didn't get to go to school because of fucking Aunt Becky. How many lives did now they ruin? They're smoking crack. <laughs> They're so upset they couldn't get into the school they wanted. They just started hitting a pipe, dude. They went to one of the vending machines was, in was, New York. They got a, a crack pipe story. out of a machine for two dollars. It was such a wholesome story. It was. It, how it was, is that wholesome? It's you were like, you know, I feel bad for the people who can't afford it because now they're smoking crack. Jonas, that's a terrible. Anyway, I mean, I, yeah. I guarantee at least one of those kids is smoking crack. <laughs> probably you. I think you talk about smoking crack because you probably smoke hey, crack. Hey, are you keeping some secret? What's in that box under your bed <laughs> besides dildos? Don't look at the crack. Uh-huh. All that's right. What I thought. You want to get you want to get something wholesome? You want to talk about something that's fucking uh, awesome? Sure, cuz my next story is pretty wholesome too. All right, cool, cool. We'll, 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 do, we'll do some whole, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of musical cheese? I, Have you ever eaten cheese? Yeah, tell me shut up. Yeah, I've eaten cheese. But no, you can't make music with cheese like a piece of Swiss. <laughs> Speaking of Swiss, that's a good that's a good China cheese to talk about because this happened with Swiss. Yeah, it's got holes in it and shit, right? A a company did a study. It says cheese creation is a complex dance. You'll catch that pun later. Complex. Between milk and bacteria. Disgusting. Yes. So they decided to do a study to play music while the cheese was aging. To see if it changed the taste of the cheese. This is way different than fucking censorship and fraud. All right. So, and I, I need to know the results. At this oh, yeah. Point. I'm going to go through it. Yeah. There was nine wheels of cheese aged six months. Okay. And they did a 24-hour loop of one song on each brick of cheese. Wheel of cheese, I guess. Not a brick. They used a mini transducer, which uh, sent the sound waves directly into the cheese instead of like playing it outside, it, like so the vibrations or whatever. Uh huh. A what mini they did? Inducer. One wheel of cheese. They used Mozart's "The Magic Flute." Didn't, one wheel of cheese. Help. They used Led Zeppelin's "Stairway to Heaven." Uh, one cheese. They used a tribe called Quest Jazz. <laughs> Another one was Vril's UV. I guess that's a techno. <laughs> they had one control wheel, which was basically yeah, no. Yeah. And then three others, they just used high, medium, and low frequency tones. Okay. So they could uh, just pump them full of sound waves. This is ridiculous. Right? People, well, people this is what people was, put their money into. Like, right? I know this is science and all, but this is fucking ridiculous. Oh, it is. I mean, but this is what people are. Dude, this was someone's job for a quite a while. They're going to start marketing this shit. Get your rap cheese here. Your rap cheese. This cheese was aged to DMX. <laughs> X going to give it to you, cheese. <laughs> All right. All right. So, the winning cheese, they said, techno cheese. was remarkably fruity, both smell and taste. Get the fuck How do you out get fruity here. cheese? So It didn't change the flavor of the cheese from the song you played. I'm not I lying. don't know, dude. What, what, uh, what, which, which of those things do you think won? Which one did I just say? Techno cheese? Yeah, techno cheese one. It was actually hip hop cheese one. Fucking rap cheese coming to a <laughs> store near you. <laughs> Tribe called Quest. <laughs> um, in like what it said was it was get all get your gangster Gouda. <laughs> get, your... get your murder uh, mozzarella. Your, your pock pimento. <laughs> I want a pock pimento grilled cheese sandwich. Thank you. If this ain't got gangster rap in it, I don't want this in my gullet. I don't like that accent you're using. Trap cheese. Tra <laughs> Coming out. Push your cheese. Push your cheese. <laughs> Push your cheese. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh. So, so rap cheese grew the... It, it's, it said what that... It, that okay. It was sampled by a bunch of culinary experts okay. who said that's what they said. It was remarkably fruity. I've never heard of Swiss cheese being fruity. You know how fucking food people are Hex. oh it has a remarkably fruit and then in the article they're like what did it really taste different or did they want it to taste different i mean every wheel of cheese tastes different anyway i would imagine <laughs> I, mean, I mean yeah swiss is swiss but one brick to the next brick yeah it's gonna have a different i mean just like when you're talking about trapping one brick to the next brick is gonna be a little different like what <laughs> What are they saying? Like the, the sound waves can affect like, the It's like the, uh, it's like, it must be like the vibrations from the music yeah. affected the way that they complex danced. 
the milk and the bacteria together. Oh my god, fucking kill me. All right, Jonas, thank you for that. Cheese! Thank you for the hip hop cheese, techno cheese, Mozart cheese, classical cheeses. Yeah, dude. I mean, I thought you might want a cheese. Cheese rocks. All right. I have something for you. Oh, do you? Is yeah, it about Josh. my man again? No. <laughs> no, Everybody's my man. It's about your little mans. You might want Whoa. this, Jonas. I know you got a birthday coming up, so I bring to you. I don't have birthdays. I bring to you. Of the penis cam. The penis cam. Yes, Jonas. It slices. It dices. It Isn't fits. It just like any camera. No, it fits around your dick. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So I don't have a picture of it because I'm trash. You would have sent it to me. I could have popped it up on the screen. Yeah, I already told them I was trash. I oh, he is trash. He's not garbage. He's trash. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I don't have a picture, so I'm trash. So just imagine it's like oval shape, and the top part that's the camera. And it has a hole there for your member. So it's like a cock ring. It is like a cock ring. But it has a camera instead of like where the vibrating it ball does, the top It does, Jonas. Okay. It does. They're marketing it to, you know, f like freaky okay, but, people who want to okay. get freaky right, in the bedroom. Right, right. But, okay, if you have like the thing on and you're like ladies on top of you grinding into you, it's just going to be a <laughs> black screen of like... What? I guess. Like, what? I don't... If you're hitting them with short strokes, Jonas, but if you're hitting them from across the bedroom like I do, oh, then you get to see everything. Oh, you're just... It's like, a, it's like one of those 360 cameras. <laughs> it's like, brrr. I am kidding. There's TNT standing outside fucking putting it to work. Jo Jonah, I don't, I don't know, man. So, it like, I guess it fits at, like, the base of your dick. And I guess it's supposed to give you, like, when you're going in, it's supposed to give you a nice view. I don't know how efficient it would be. I don't... And, like... Okay, but have, have you ever had sex before? <laughs> <laughs> TNT Dynamite, have you had coitus? <laughs> Dude, there's like, there's some liquid that happens when you have sex. It is a water resistant. No, but I'm not saying it's water. But, but there's a lens, bro. Like, have you seen a water resistant camera? It gets wet, then it like it, the view gets all fucked up. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. And I'm not even mentioned like the sweat and shit. I could. Yeah, see like, and it's issue. not like water. Sex fluids Jonas, are not like water. Jonas, this tech company worked very hard on this product. All right. So did Soldier Boy on his emulator box. He didn't work at all for that. So look, Jonas. <laughs> It is Android iOS <laughs> compatible. Right. Well, good. It can record in 720p at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 15 frames per second. 15 frames per second? Look, dude, it's like, I don't know. It's like... <laughs> it has a 90-minute battery life, so it is going to outlast the... The you know, old, the goodest man. The, the best man you got. <laughs> Jesus. What do you... Okay. If you're having a fuck cam that goes around your dick, why do you need a 90-minute battery? Jonas, because sometimes it goes a little long and you got to move in the right place and then... All right. Anyway. And also, it's strap-on friendly. Oh. <laughs> Show me the woman that wants to get plowed for 90 minutes. Like, really, dude. Who like, wants to get a plowed? <laughs> I don't know if I like that terminology, but like she's not a driveway. The same, at the same <laughs> effect, I would not want to stroke anything for four, for ninety minutes, dude. You'd be raw. <laughs> well, Joe, well, you don't want to kill the whole battery. It's just those you have enough. Oh, so you case. Can be, yeah, dude, it's just ninety minute battery. Come on. Oh, okay. So All anyway, right. uh, there's a promotional video for it on their website. That I watched. Oh, is it good? And you would think that they would use it, you know, for its intended purposes, but they don't. What they do is <laughs> they hire... <laughs> Wait a second. So they get, like, a professional photographer, and he puts on, like, a strap on, and he, like, jumps out of a fucking plane. <laughs> <laughs> and they show you, like, a panoramic view of the mountainside. This kind of, I guess, just trying to show how good the how actual camera is. How versatile it is. How good the camera is. <laughs> like, you can so, fuck skydiving. So, while you're, <laughs> while you're paying your hashtag fuck tax, that's a callback, <laughs> and you have your fuck cam on your penis, you can jump out of a plane and get the majestic view, then land... <laughs> Have your coitus, and there you go. <laughs> Essentially, man. Now, Jonas, I want you to know, I want to ask you a question. How much do I think it costs? How much would you pay for something like this, Jonas? <laughs> it has a versatility. Do you want my truth? <laughs> and, and, like, if you're a porn director, I could see you using this. If you really freaky in the bedroom, maybe. How I much would you pay for even this? Even the freakiest of the freaks, I don't see its efficiency. 
Efficiency, Jonas? What do you mean? It's going to get covered in all sorts of fluids. Yeah. If you're, if you're like this, okay, just using a crude example. What is, if you put your penis in something and the camera's right here, it's going to be, you can't even see. I would pay, I would let them pay me $25 to take it. Jonas, you, you're, you're missing the point. Dude. Oh, it's a quality product, $10 million. This, <laughs> you're missing the you, point. You've convinced me. Is that this is answering the dreams and aspirations of millions of people. Oh, that's right. Who have wanted to have a camera around their dick. Haven't you ever wanted to do ghost hunters, but with your cock? <laughs> Some of those dudes, I'm sure, got full, full fucking wood. They're like, I'll just strut the camera on my wang doodle. I know I have. So I, as far, you pay? as far as I can tell, you know what, Jonas? I actually went through like four or five articles and like a YouTube page searching for the price. No. And none of them had it it's, listed. That means it's too much. My journalistic integrity made me go directly to the freaking source. And I'm here to tell you that you can have this product today. For one fifty nine ninety five. Oh my Jesus! <laughs> it's so expensive, dude. It's so expensive. couldn't you just buy like a waterproof camera and like tape it around your waist? It's so expensive. That's really expensive, dude. Oh my God! All right, dude. Have, Have they been... sold one? I don't, I don't know. I'm mad. So rich, dude. Like Jeff Bezos could be like, oh, that's like a penny. Yeah, dude. I'm getting there, Jonas. I'm Bezos is gonna sell them on Amazon, isn't he? Uh, they, you know what? I think they might be on Amazon because the first thing that came up in my search was an Amazon link. Oh, shit. But, yeah, that is at the, uh, oh, mind you, their website, thecockcam.com. Cockcam. <laughs> the <Are> cockcam. <laughs> Maybe. Wow, dude. Maybe, maybe I just, I got a birthday coming <laughs> if up. If you're getting some cock cam money, I want, I want to cut. Yeah, well, maybe I got a birthday coming up, Jonas. Oh. I, I will not be buying you a $160 penis camera for your birthday. <laughs> you told me not even to tell you happy birthday. You think I'm getting you a penis cam? <laughs> All right. That's, that's, that's the end of that one, dude. Woo! I thought you might like that. Wow. I, I, I guess I like it. Yeah, you do. I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I have another story do that's up. kind of fucked up. It's another fucked up story? Well, I mean, it's dude, cool. we should have ended on a penis cam. It's cool. But it's a little fucked up. Oh, Jones, you're gonna send them away sad. Dude, they're gonna be happy when they hear about this. Right. Eh, probably not. <laughs> so, uh, you've heard of a woolly mammoth before, right? I have. A big giant elephant hairy tusk thing. Yep. Okay. So they've been extinct for a couple of years. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a few. Like most prehistoric beings. Yeah. So Japanese and Russian scientists mm -hmm. decided they wanted to try to bring one back to life. Oh, know? hell yeah, Jurassic Park, bitch. Let's go. It's kind of Jurassic Park. Let's dude. fucking go to get some Amber Skeeters. So they t <laughs> Amber Skeeters. <laughs> yeah, dude. They, they, as a matter of fact, they had 22 Amber Skeeters. Yeah. They didn't even know what to do with them. <laughs> they actually had permafrost Skeeters. I knew this chick named Amber once. Did you? Ooh. There was, I mean, I'm she sure was, there, she I'm, was a I'm skeeter, sure, I'm sure, a skeeter. <laughs> I'm sure there was some out there. I mean, it is a name. Anyway, give me a story. I was just going they, off on a tangent. They took, they took cells mm. from an extraordinarily well-preserved mammoth found in permafrost in Siberia in 2012. Yeah, that's you can get some good DNA up there. Actually, yeah, I've dude. heard of people doing this shit before. With what? In the permafrost because it stays like it's like it's like yeah it's it uber, it's uber frozen yeah and it's uh, so they around. um reawakened some cells of a twenty eight thousand year old woolly mammoth okay what they name her hold on I'm getting there oh there's a name uh, the, they used a process that's called nuclear transfer yeah obviously we all know about that oh yeah we'll I, I didn't even to tell you what that is yeah so we won't uh. <laughs> it, you take a nucleus-like structure, and you implant it. They implanted it in mouse oocytes. Oocytes. Yeah, I don't even know what they are. Uh, it is a part of the cell. Okay. Or it said it facilitates embryonic development. Now, they were not able to clone one yet. They said they couldn't replicate cell division but they were able to huh. 
wake the cell up and get it to do spindle assembly. Okay. Which is basically what happens right before yeah, yeah, yeah. cell division. They attach to the spindles and then it splits into like two daughter cells yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it's like some college shit, man. I don't know yeah. Shit. So essentially, it kind of is like Jurassic Park. Yeah. Very similar. They said uh, the only, the biggest problem they had was that it was the quality of the DNA samples. Finding good quality DNA yeah. in a 28,000 year old animal, yeah. hard to come by. Yeah, because they've already done this with like animal, like sheep and shit. Yeah. They've already been doing that. So, what, <laughs> what if they found like what the fucking pr- patient zero woolly mammoth like buried what way deep in the permafrost? <laughs> what is patient zero woolly mammoth? Like, yeah, some terminal disease. No, that's... I guess it wouldn't be patient zero, but like. Pristine daddy friends. What if they found Jesus or something? The shit? Jesus mammoth? No, just Jesus himself. No, no, no. What if back? they found a really pristine woolly mammoth? Then I guess. And they, they were able to bring them back to life. Yeah, then I don't know, dude. dude I wouldn't care. You wouldn't care? <laughs> I mean, I would. Okay, look. See, don't, no, don't do that. No. I would care, but like, fucking like, who cares? You know? Okay. I care, but who I, cares? I. I I think that if they can do this with man-caused extinct animals, that that's a good thing. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, you know, like, uh, different times, like, buffalo have been close to extinction. Because people hunt them. The pan- uh, rhinos. Pandas. Pandas. All that sort of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it is a man-caused extinction, extinction, I think if you can fucking bring them back from the dead, by Job, let's do it. Okay. But if there's a prehistoric fucking animal that was extinct before we even existed, there's a reason it's dead. What do you think a mammoth is going to do, dude? It's a mammoth. What do you think a... They were herbivores for We the have part. seen Jurassic Park, which is not to be confused with T-Rex Island, by the way. Yeah, well, yeah, fuck T-Rex Island. Episode 12, I think. <laughs> I Go, think. you hear about it, T-Rex Island. <laughs> you, when Jonas puts up the finger, he means fucking mean. He it. tried to... Call me out and say it was Jurassic Park. He's so we just fucking get a Chris Pratt to fucking tame the fucking... He's a raptor a, whisperer, It's right? just a big elephant, John. Big elephants don't do anything. And then it has to be a baby big elephant before it's going to be a big, big elephant. I don't see a problem with the... Like I said, that's why I say, yeah, who cares, though? Because, like, yeah, it's a great scientific, scientific yeah. revelation. Okay. But on the same note, <laughs> it ain't resurrected anything dangerous. Potentially. Yet. <laughs> the only thing that could potentially be dangerous about resurrecting a fucking baby elephant is that it may have some eldritch disease or some shit. Could that bring back prehistoric fucking herpes or something. Prehistoric shit. fucking baboon baboonic plague. Baboonic? <laughs> it's a different kind. <laughs> it's not the bubonic plague, it's it's the baboonic plague. I, I like it when you make up words. I love <laughs> making up words. <laughs> I do. I love it. All right. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't see here, an issue with that. Now, if they're bringing back, like, saber-toothed tigers, I'm like, dude, what the fucking crazy? Well, here, here's the other thing that kind of... Oh, God, that'd be fucking crazy, exactly. dude. Exactly. Um, they're saying that they may be able to yeah. create a elephant-woolly mammoth hybrid animal. Damn. How do you feel about creating new species that don't exist I mean, by cloning and things? We've been doing that, dude, with dogs and shit. We've done this before. What two dogs did they just, like... There's a bunch a chihuahua of chihuahua boxer. There's a bunch of dogs that were introduced to each other only due to the fact that men introduced them to each other. Well, yeah, but they didn't like create pugs, them in a lab. Pugs are basically created in a lab. <laughs> are you kidding? Yeah, that's true. Pugs are not meant to live, man. Those Dude, things, they have like a breathing problem. The, like, they they are completely like engineered by man. I don't know. I'm what two, what two dogs are put together to make a pug? I don't know. Not off the top of my head. I don't know. Okay. I, don't, I just know that that's, <clears throat> that's just the way they do things. So I don't know, Jonas. Like I say, I I, all, I totally agree with you is that there will be a point where it will get too far where we try to do it to a person or we try to do it and we start playing around with nature and something fucking crazy happens. It, it's, it's human nature, though. We yeah, fuck with shit that we aren't supposed to do. We wait until the last minute to fix every goddamn problem. The way that, like... A teenager acts at college is the way the entire human race acts 
towards everything in the universe. <laughs> That's essentially. the best analogy I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm telling you right it's now. Like, it's like, it's all new, so we're all just like, dee, 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 dee. we're like fucking like running we're like, yeah, dream, yeah, dude. We know how to fucking clone shit. Let's go clone an elephant, dude. Oh, let's make the elephant and the mammoth fuck, dude. That'd be cool as fuck. Yeah, dude, let's take an elephant and put together a snake uh, in him. What are, what are we going to do about the ozone layer, guys? Oh, dude, fuck that, dude. I'll handle that later when my mom We just made venomous me. elephants, dude. <laughs> This is exactly what it is. But yeah. it's human nature. It's human nature. So, I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully, we're dead and gone by the time I we decide we... to destroy oh, ourselves. Well, we, you know what? If I'm in a home and shit starts going crazy, I can be <laughs> able to just, like, watch the world burn, I guess. <laughs> if I'm just, like, I can't even, I'm, like, incontinent and shit, and I'm just, like, <sighs> well, they finally did it, didn't they? Remember TNT? We talked about that in 2019, that we would lose all of our <laughs> bowel functions before the world ended. <laughs> You remember that? I would never talk like oh, that. That's that was no me way. talking to you. I know. Because we're going to be in the home together when we're still doing the podcast live. <laughs> I'd just be asking nurse, nurse for extra pills. Uh, nurse, I lost my pill. They're like, sir, we just gave it to you. No, no I, I, need, I need more pills, please. Uh, what, what, what kind of pill? All of them. All the pills. All right. Well, since you only had two stories, I got a third one to go. I thought we just did a third one. Well, you only had two. It's quick. <laughs> All right, Jonas, let's go. Do the third story. <laughs> go ahead. We'll tease that one for next week. No, do it. Nope. Let's go. Nope. You already said it. No, you know, we got to do it. Do you ever have a MySpace account? No. They lost a bunch of music. The end. <laughs> <laughs> I heard about this. Actually, it is pretty quick. MySpace basically accidentally lost everything that was uploaded to the site before Damn. 2016. No, who even uses this? Well, dude? right. They said that uh, 50 million songs by 14 million artists. Damn. They blamed data migration on a faulty server. They said it was a temporary issue at first, but now they say it's permanent. <laughs> um, they said, and I guess like why people are a little up in arms on this is other failed sites such as GeoCities, Google Plus, things like that. They gave enough um notice so that, that the inter inter what's what do they called them preservation activists could i didn't even know that up. was a thing could go in and back everything up just for the future of the internet just he's yeah. like oh here's what was here in 2004 it is kind of fucked up because it's, it's gone yeah it's like gigs and gigs and well, i mean gigs. dude it's so terabytes it, and it, you probably even more than bigger that. than that decabytes. well but i guess what my, why i wanted to talk about this myspace was the first social media yeah. So people didn't know that what you posted on there was going to follow you forever and what social media was going to oh. become. People just thought it was like, oh, a little site. I can put my name on here and put a little blog. Wow, it's actually, it's freeing then. So it's like all yeah. of us people who were on MySpace first, it wiped the slate clean. So my theory, I mean, there's one dude who was like, I want to run for office. I got some fucked up shit on MySpace. I'm going to accidentally <laughs> delete the servers. Boom! You think it's a conspiracy? No, I, he, <laughs> we gotta take down it's, my. It's face. some guy who wants to run for president. No, He's like, no one will see my emo goth photos from 2005. <laughs> I swear. We gotta take down MySpace. They got too much on. All so of basically, us. all of us old folks who were right there at the cusp of social media, we got them free for free. I actually think this is a good idea now that you put now that you put it this way. I think there should be like schedule, maybe even annual. Just fucking wipes, dude. A purge of like all your like bullshit on the internet. Yeah. Or you could at least you could ask for like a purge, like uh, once every five years. If you're like, you should just be able to ask for one, and they can just purge all your shit. Yeah, I mean, I I think that's a good. It's idea. crazy because like kids nowadays that like have social media since they're like eight. Yeah. And they just post all sorts of fucked up shit on there. Yeah. I mean, there's even people who are like, I mean, granted, they're posting shit like racist shit and stuff, so they should get what they deserve for being racist. But, you know, like quarterbacks at a college and it's, people go scour their Twitter history and find one like post where they said something kind of shady or racist or hatred or, and everyone's like, look what he posted in 1922. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean yeah, you should be yeah, posting yeah, shit on the yeah. internet, but. Yeah, I guess you found out you shouldn't have posted it. You're right, exactly. You're accountable so, for everything you say. You know, you're allowed to say whatever you want. But you're accountable for everything right. you say. Right, exactly. TNT Dynamite 2019. Write it down. Yeah, that is very true. You okay. can't say anything you want. Like that dude who was like, I support the blah, blah, blah. Guy who did the attack. He went to fucking jail for it. Mm. He can say whatever he wants. Mm. 
doesn't mean that people aren't going to think a certain way about you for what you say. That's true, Jonas. Our hearts and prayers with the people of New Zealand. Absolutely. Also with the uh, the Ethiopian airplane that went down. Absolutely. Over 150 people lost their lives in that tragic accident. Yes. And me and Jonas don't like the loss of life. Absolutely. No. And I did find out that I'm not flying in one of those planes when I go overseas. You're not taking Ethiopian air? No, I'm not taking that particular Boeing mo uh, model. Oh, okay, okay. So, I... Uh, well, actually, they grounded all those planes anyways. But a little tidbit on that. Boeing. So the Army or the Air Force gets their refueling planes from Boeing. They had planes delivered to them with trash and industrial tools still inside. And the government <laughs> has shut down getting their refueling planes from Boeing, too. So Boeing is... No, they're on thin ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Nice. All right, TNT yeah. and everyone out there. That is all the time that we have for today's episode. Thank you so much for checking us out. Please make sure, if you're watching on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Crazy Town Media Live, make sure you hit the follow button. YouTube, our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media, subscribe there. All of our social media. We will post the replay on the YouTube channel, Spotify, iTunes, all that stuff. Make sure you check it out. Yep, get out there. <laughs> but for Jonas, for TNT Dynamite, we oh. are... Oh. Oh. Testicles!